I mean, I look, I if if you don't get occasionally injured in the line of duty, are you even a YouTuber? You're not supposed to get injured while sitting in one spot and having difficulty breathing without going anywhere. That's not normal. Why did you put the stronger filters in there when I told you not to? Because we knew that the Safe Breathing Club was not safe. <laughs> Because sometimes you have to do everything it takes for your 10 fans. Say what happened? Oh man, so we got COVID scammed along with a lot of other people, but we thought we might as well make a video about it. We sure did get COVID scammed. During the pandemic, we decided to uh, invest in these masks that were advertised to me on Facebook. They sounded like a great deal. They used UV lights. They were gonna get delivered within six months and they were supposed to be a lot safer than any of the traditional masks of the market. Um, and now we were a little skeptical because Charlotte is super photosensitive and so we wanna make sure that none of the UV light would be leaking out um, or visible to the human. Um, or I guess like, what's the word like? Attacking your skin. Attacking your skin. So we wanted to make sure none of the UV light was attacking your skin. Mm -hmm. They assured us it'd be great. You could exercise in these. You could run in these. Mm -hmm. um, they'd be great for people with asthma. So anyway, we were supposed to get them within six months. It's now a year and a half later. Most people haven't gotten theirs yet. Oh, really? Yeah. So we uh, debated for a minute about whether or not to open this because... Um, Everyone who's gotten there so far, like, I don't think there's anyone I've seen review these who hasn't been like, so we got scammed and these don't work. And the reason being is they're apparently unbreathable or don't fit right. And the company said, oh, we're sorry it doesn't fit right. We decided not to have people try them on beforehand. What? Um... So they offered a free silicon replacement that would make the mask more airtight and fit better. But their free replacement is a piece of silicon that somehow costs $35 to ship from China mm -hmm. in a padded envelope because they claim, you know what they claim? That shipping prices increased. Now, how did shipping prices increase from a dollar to thirty-five for this free item? No I don't know. They also offered a thirty-day money-back guarantee. So, part of why we decided to order these, mm -hmm. I think, going back to that, we decided to order because when um, we were reading the site, it said thirty-day, hundred percent money-back satisfaction guarantee. There was also a Forbes article about these masks, mm -hmm. advertising that they were going to be great. That these masks had been under like they've been working on these masks for five years this was not just a pandemic company mm -hmm. they were just slightly accelerating production because they were ready um well <laughs> box bulges it doesn't even all fit right sorry ne needless to say that didn't work out so well so we're gonna try them on see if uh we got a piece of garbage or any of the campaign promises uh were held we also because they advertised these masks to us, decided to order $200 worth of add-ons um, because we wanted more filters, because these were gonna be great. The pandemic was gonna keep going. So we're excited to try these on. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful, I think you're hitting the actual. No, I'm not. All right, careful. 
Let's open these up. So I see two masks in here. They barely fit in the box. This is the standard shipping box. You can see it like bulging right here. We got a lovely UM logo for <laughs> UM Systems. Yeah. Well, you started to talk about the return policy and why we're opening these. Um, so originally they offered like a full money back guarantee policy, but then once they started shipping them to people and people started trying to return them, they changed their policy to basically say that they'll either, if you pay money to send it back to them, they'll either replace it or they'll refund you with store credit. And this is the only product this company sells. So that tells you about how useful the store credit oh, is. Oh, they sell a light mask. They don't actually sell this specific mask on the site. Mm. Um, also, what are these? I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's just some like little metal ring, just kind of. It looks like something out of Iron Man. Kind of just packaged. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. And then there, Fine. why this box was bulging is there's just some random UM99 filters. What is UM99? Is that a certification? Nope. I mean, UM's the name of it. I know, but still, why did they? <clears throat> well, okay, so people that did more digging into this company and like, can't actually find like evidence of like the company existing and the factories that they have in their photos don't actually belong to them and their logos photoshopped on and that now there's been like more or I don't know if there was a subsequent Forbes article but I've definitely seen some articles on major publications about how this company basically just invented itself out of thin air in order to capitalize on like the pandemic so since we figured out that we didn't want to spend any more money on this to send these back uh -huh. for store credit, we just decided to keep them. Yeah. So we figured we'd make a video. Maybe uh -huh. this will go viral. Maybe it won't. Maybe no one will care. But we got COVID scammed. Yep. Anyway, so we're opening the second box that it came with with our add-ons. In our add-ons, we have some UM95 filters. Uh -huh. We have one, two, three, Four packages of those, but they look a little bulkier than the other packages. Oh, there's actually oh, wow. this case, and it's filled with more of these. So yeah, we decided, there was a couple things we decided to order as our add-ons, because we thought that was a great idea. It's this really lovely case. Mm -hmm. Actually, I really like this case. I do actually think we could use it for something, mm -hmm. like a camera lens or something. It looks like dentures for a giant, like for a large size creature in D&D. It's their denture box. But then there's more filters. Mm -hmm. More filters. We'll show how many filters we got mm -hmm. with our lovely product right here. Um, we got... What is that? I don't remember. Oh, no, that's for the case. Oh, See, that's for the case. So, can... so we got a little case strap right here. Yeah, like a wrist strap, because, you know, if you want to carry that thing as a clutch, you can totally do it. I mean... Honestly, I think this makes a better clutch than it might make for a mask. Do you but... think we're going to see that at uh, Coachella this year? Uh, UM mask clutches? Probably not. <laughs> All, right, All right, and then these are face plates for the actual mask. Because... Because they were, like, swappable. So you could, like, swap the colors. And I just wanted to paint one. So we got two. We got this blue one. Super cute. Oops. And this one is originally... Advertise is like an olive green. It's very far from that. I don't even know what I'd call this color. It's like a forest green. Mm, it's like bluer though. This one is mine. Mm -hmm. I got the smaller one, so I got size S. Yep. And I got the bigger one, which is the size X. And I, from what we read online, neither one will fit. Neither us. one will fit us. And you actually, for someone with like a nose like mine, you probably need. A second silicone seal, which is the one Jane was talking about earlier, called the XL. And we were like, well, you know, should we just like spend the last $35 just to make a video of it? We're like, you know. No. no it's not and worth we wouldn't it. get it for six months. And we wouldn't get it for six months. And, and we wanted to make this video. You guys want to see this video now, right? I mean, come on. Who doesn't love a the weird scamming that's happened from the pandemic? Well, the opening thing says breathe safely, which is kind of ironic because a lot of people have reported their blood oxygen levels actually decreasing while they wear these. Um, this is a really safe product demonstration we're doing. All right, there's a sticker here. It's a big red sticker, which I, I, I have no doubt is because of everyone trying to return theirs, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it for you guys. <clears throat> it says, important 
Please read the user manual carefully before putting on the mask. Always hold the mask with the silhouette, oh my god, with the silicon pad side facing up while putting on and taking off the mask. Um, two, it is normal that your new UV mask or UV mask light may have a slight odor due to the curing process of food grade silicon. This odor is harmless and will fade away in a few days. Okay. And it's designed so you have to cut that in order to open it. Oh wait, apparently, wait, even if I like, cut that, I can't seem to get this packaging out. Okay, wait, got it. All right, and there's a box that says accessories. Oh, so let me go ahead and pull that out. Yeah, that's And it. we're just gonna toss the box. All right, we have a membership card here. Ooh. For the Safe Breathing Club. Wow. Here, um, here. Okay, so this is made to basically tell anyone that, um, you know, has never seen your mask before, if you're going to somewhere that's regulating them, that your mask does in fact filter air both in and out, and it gives a link to the webpage that will tell the person that, which is actually kind of useful. Um, we also have a quick start guide, some silicone straps that are very, very stretchy, a USB-C charger, so at least that's nice, and we got more filters. Um, this filter pile is getting really funny at this point. Safety so use this device. May not seal property with your face if you have a beard. Gross sideburns, which I know means large hair, but gross sideburns sounds really funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the N95 since the N99 is supposed to be. Let's actually refer them to what they are. I'm gonna use the UM95 instead of the UM99 because we don't know if they're actually. Yeah, and I'll use the 99. Uh, let's not, you have asthma. I know, which I like. I mean, we're trying to make a point here. I don't Maybe, want you to die. I, mean, I don't know, this is an experiment, Jane. Technically, all we've seen is like comments on the internet. I mean, there could be one angry person like funding like hundreds of thousands of bot comments. You're we telling me there's a slam campaign? I mean, I'm not saying there is. I'm just saying that, like, you, you we can't prove there's not until we try it, right? Take into account the following factors which may affect the duration of the, or the service life. The degree of physical activity of the user, the physical condition of the user, the degree of the user's breathing rate is increased by excitement, fear, and her other emotions. So we're just following the sticker here. I broke my sticker. Jane didn't. I'm actually reading the directions for you since Jane's not, we're gonna see how this goes. if that affects anything. Just, you know. I mean, this isn't going on. This is not, you know. Oh, do you have it on right? I, I do. You're trying to force it to bend. This is definitely a user error. It's not the okay. design. Well, that is like not covering very much of my face at all. Yeah. I wonder like what they, because I can't hear you when you're wearing that, and they definitely have that video using one of the prototypes. And you can hear. Where you hear. can hear the person fine. So I'm wondering like what they changed in the design. These filters are totally different than the ones in the prototype they showed. Because the prototype, it had these like strip filters. Yeah, and these are little circles. Mm, these are little circles. I so think what these they are. They totally redesigned the mask between the product that they like, you know, used as the Average. backing example like the product that they showed you you'd buy when you backed. Okay, interesting. So if they advise you to, they, they basically, in order to have proper maintenance, which is needed for the warranty, um, you have to store it in the carrying case. The carrying case isn't included, that's an add-on you can buy, that you can buy in the campaign. So that's another weird kind of sleaze tactic there. It does say use filters at all times right directly on it. So one of the things that, is weird is that um, they advertise that you could use the um, the straps like either as around the ear straps, which I prefer, or as back of the head straps, which Jean prefers. But this is way too long to be a uh, around the ear strap. It would have been really nice if they came pre-assembled. Some of these little doodads that uh -huh. it had us put on are way easier than others. Oh yeah, they're definitely different sizes. They are not manufactured consistently. Like some of them I had struggle putting this thing through. Mm -hmm. 
Some of them were super easy. I do, don't like that the straps attached to the face shield, which is supposed to be swappable because putting this on, having read the instructions, took long enough that our recording on the camera automatically stopped. So that's um definitely not ideal. Alright, it is on my face. Ooh, that is uncomfortable to wear, I guess. How do I turn it on? Okay, so uh, yeah, so you And I think that's the fan on low. Or what's the fan supposed to do? Just help air move, move through the filter? Or? And the UV. These snaps are not very good. Can you hear me at all? All of these filters have this like stamped number in them. But it seems to be made of the actual filter material. But it like makes it see through. Right, but I think it's just compressing it. Right. It's not like a hole, like nothing can go through that. It's a solid barrier. This is whole thing weighs, I should go get a scale in a minute. Um, it weighs a lot. And so it's all held under the straps by this one, the little orange spot right there. That's a one tiny little neodymium magnet to hold on this whole thing. And it's silly that the straps. Well, because every time I go to do this, it starts falling out of the cover. Yeah, the shield should just go on at the end, like, so the worst comes to worst, you just, like, put on the whole mask and then pop the shield on. All right, so get this over my head. Oh, God. I zoomed into you. It's all you. All right. This is not embarrassing at all. All right, so. That's okay. I'll do the mine. The directions said to put it on your chin, and then to put it over your face, and then to put this over your head. Put this on. Okay, it smells like Home Depot in here. She says it smells like Home Depot in there. Yeah, so I'm not really getting a seal at all, so I'll get me right in the eye. You wanna turn it on? Also, um, the, there's definitely not a light seal like they're saying there is. Cause it's supposed to just be black in there. But um, it glows. Seems like the way this is supposed to work is a silicon lip right here. Um, that's totally separate. It like kind of comes off the shield. And so I think what's supposed to happen is that it makes a seal on the edge with your face. And then the fan and all of this creates a positive pressure environment in here so that the seal expands when you breathe out to keep air from actually escaping. Um, but I don't think that would work unless you have like a absolutely perfect fit with your face and like there's room for someone to have like a bridge of your nose that extends maybe I mean maybe like a centimeter from your face like if you look where my fingers are that's how much of a dip there is for someone's nose um in here um you can also see I'm just gonna well yeah you can also see in here that um the, right there, there's supposed to be like no light that actually emerges and like technically yeah this is visible light but it's also like shifting through this so I don't know if it's just like when they say that no ultraviolet light gets your face that's no longer ultraviolet once it gets to you or like what but there's definitely light like, getting reflected through there from the ultraviolet chamber. So Charlotte's gonna wear it for a few minutes to figure out if the UV light is actually dangerous because she's incredibly photosensitive to UV light um, and it will hurt her and uh, that's the best guess. Science. Because this company claims that it is not and I'm sure all the people that bought one actually want to know if they're getting harmed by UV rays but there's not a good measurement other than photosensitive science girl. I'm gonna repeat what she's saying because clearly you can't hear her. Okay, so the one thing that I find is kind of funny. Is the one thing that she finds kind of funny is. When there's like a certain position where you hold your face, uh, the seal will momentarily work. So um, when you keep, I think what she's saying, because I'm actually having a hard time hearing her, is that when you keep your face in exactly the right position and breathe in, the seal actually holds. It's a really awkward neutral position. Um, but it's a really uncomfortable, unnatural position. You can have to use your muscles to like hold your, contort your face to see how it appears. 
Uh, and you kind of have to use your muscles to like consort your face to like keep it in that spot. It sounds like I'm gonna throw up a movie like this time. Understand her in it. So, this is interesting because there's um, another mask that was similar to this that was announced um, which last weekend, but then it was free. So there was another mask announced last weekend on E3. So if you're not a gamer, that's the Electronic Entertainment Expo, she thinks. It's where gaming companies release their games and tech and hardware. Mm -hmm. So there was, a comp there was a company called like Razer that makes like parts for, what? Really for the Razer, um, makes parts for- And you don't have a perfect seal. I don't have a perfect seal. Um, Charlotte is saying it's very difficult to breathe through and she doesn't have a perfect CL, but there's a company called Razer uh -huh. that um, announced a mask and they're typically a computer company, but they spent the pandemic designing this uh, other mask that is also going to be a UV specific mask. I don't think it uses UV. Oh, it does not use UV. Use UV no. And Charlotte trusts this specific mask a lot more because they've dedicated part of their manufacturing facilities to make medical grade masks during the pandemic. Okay. So, it, it seems a little bit more trustworthy. So it seems like they're gonna bring a product to market and actually get an N95 rating for mm -hmm. it. I'm pretty sick of translating at this point, uh -huh. but we're Wait, gonna keep um, going because we want to find out if this thing is uh, UV safe. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to repeat that. Basically, it does not have a UV thing in it, but it does have um, N95. Um, but the cool thing is that it has a clear front that at night actually lights up and makes it easier for people that read lips to actually be able to see someone's mouth, uh -huh. which actually sounds really great as an accessibility feature. Yeah. yeah, because one of the places where you actually saw a mask before the pandemic, besides like a very polite person that was sick that needed to go out, um, was like at conventions and theme parks or other places like that because immunocompromised people uh -huh. would wear them. Or people with severe allergies. Or people with severe allergies. But also, the reason I'm bringing that up is that that mask, and it has a, I've got plenty of people see my face, um, it has a, uh, um, a microphone in it. So, oh, that's cool. Uh huh, it has a microphone in the speaker so that, um, you, it actually, like, Okay, so Charlotte says that, that mask specifically uh, is really cool because it has a microphone and a speaker in it that actually makes it easier for people to hear you because it does have technology in it with a fan. I will say people online were complaining that the specific mask does sound like a vacuum cleaner. Our dog is very unhappy that this mask is running. She's settled down because she doesn't particularly love the vacuum. But it's not as loud as a vacuum. Okay. Like it is a little loud on your face, but like it's not actually quite as loud as I thought it would be from reading those comments. But it is much louder than like a comfortable sounding thing on your face. Yeah, it just sounds like Darth Vader plus a vacuum cleaner in the next room. So it sounds like Darth Vader plus a vacuum cleaner in the next room over. All right, so at this point you've worn it for a few minutes. I'm really tired of saying exactly what you're saying again. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Does it hurt? The other problem with the silicone is it presses the sweat into your face, which was definitely irritating my skin. So, but that was bothering me more than the light was, even if it was there. One thing I can do is as we keep talking, I can just put my finger over the little like, light and we can see if that hurts too. But it's just, yeah, it's, oh my God, I can talk again a lot. It's, it's not comfortable. The other thing I don't like about it is how and I know no one else is going to have this complaint, but how small it is. I mean, that is a complaint. That's why they had to make no, a bigger seal. No, but like, not the seal, but the actual mask. Because it, it, it like, it's small enough that it like looks like something's on top of your face rather than over your face. So it looks like a bird beak. This does, this is a common complaint. Like, I don't it. like that I can see like, I, and I don't, I, it, it's weird that I can see like my jawline and cheeks around it. Like when I'm looking straight for it, it was. Definitely. It's not an appealing look for anyone. Oh yeah, I know the light definitely gets through my fingers. It hurts. Um, so, we so have that, determined that this mask is actually unsafe for wearing at this point. Well, for, um, so, um, I mean, you, so UVC like doesn't actually give you skin cancer. I don't think it could sunburn like the average person. I'm pretty sure that's true. Now, is this actually just using UVC? I don't know. 
Um, but I will say that ultraviolet light definitely makes it through to the seal because I've had my finger over it. And um, and you're extremely photosensitive yeah. to the point where geneticists are starting are trying to figure out which specific genetic mutation you have yeah. as to why you're photosensitive. So this is like you should verify the science whether this mask can hurt other people or not but like yeah. this mask is not safe for you yeah so if, if you're a person with a porphyria like just don't wear this um like it'll hurt i mean it, it just the actual thing it goes over your nose like the tip of your nose will hurt but it's still definitely not comfortable other problem it's just while i was wearing that these actual little Dinky dongle boys actually came off one of the sides of my mask. <laughs> I see. Yeah, there's a couple design decisions that I don't fully understand. Like, I think, you know, if they put this shield here, if they put the thing, like the face straps on the actual mask itself, um, it would be a lot easier because right now this side piece is actually blocking the filters on the side, which is part of the reason it's difficult to breathe. Um, I also, like, am very concerned about the UV input and X-put because, like, that is something they personally assured us would be fine. Mm -hmm. Um, so what do you think? Yeah, they said the chamber is, quote, fully isolated, but, I mean, you, you could even, like, it should just be black down that hole, but it's, it's obviously not. Um, and obviously some of that light's getting shifted by the, like, red plastic but and yeah it makes us look ridiculous. yeah it is a little weird that you do look like a weird alien bird um because <laughs> it's an alien fish i'm right. an alien fish so what happens if you put on mine oh yeah let me try because your... like i'm wondering if maybe does the large work for you we're both we're both just designed too small should use the straps. Go ahead and like go all the way and try it. But okay, well, Jane obviously didn't read the instruction manual because that tells you not to put it on that way. But no, well, that's how I wrote it. <laughs> I think you actually have a seal with this one. I think I have a seal. I think I actually had a seal with this one too. Uh, except when I started moving. I think if I stay still, I have a seal. Because you move in this one. I think I have a seal. I see. But the second I like say a word that requires an ayah to go like this, I lose it. Mm -hmm. So like the seal needs to be tighter and that would have just worked better if the mask was longer around the face because like, you know, mm -hmm. you have more room to get a seal around. Mm -hmm. Also, I found another design flaw in these. You have to take the straps, the silicone straps off to fit in the case. What? Yeah, look, it doesn't fit. Wait, even if you like took them into the... No, look, the sides are like, they don't fit. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 here, here, here. Um, I think this is a U assembly thing. Try pulling this back a couple jupers on each one, and then I think they might fit. So the one last thing I want to try is they did, and this is, at this point, a totally moot point, right? Because, like, it doesn't matter anymore. But when people complained that they couldn't breathe in it, the company literally told them to take the filter out so they could breathe, which then, you know, kind of defeats the whole purpose. But I'd like to see, like, can you breathe in it with the filter out? I mean, the UV light theoretically is still doing some work. Uh -huh. So let let's assume the UV light works. It is like significant that you hate our radius, but like I don't think it's actually easy or not. So this city can be comfortable. Um, Charlotte says it is significantly easier to breathe, but not significant enough. So that's the verdict. Yeah. So overall, Charlotte, what would you rate this mask as? On a scale of one to 10, how scammed did we get? Is 10 the most scammed and one's the least scammed? 10 is, this is the best mask on the market. Well, it's definitely not that. Um, so the interesting thing to me is I can't tell if we got scammed or if the like actual creator got scammed by like the factory they hired. Right, like I don't know if this is like a wish situation where like, you know, they sent in one, here's the proof of concept model, and they got back something totally different. Or if just like, you know, everything along was like intentionally faked and is like 
intentionally fraud and like false advertising. And I think that like we're definitely going to see like a lawsuit around these. I think that'll be really interesting, especially because every time someone calls to ask for a refund, their number goes straight to a lawyer. So I think that I think litigation around this product would be incredibly interesting. Um, as to how scammed we got, I mean, it, the product is, and I really, I really, I mean, you can tell, I guess from my approach to this, I really wanted to give it like my honest best shot. I really want it to work. Um, but I gotta say as someone with like probably a weakened diaphragm, my chest hurts. After that, 15 minutes, um... You didn't even wear it 15 minutes, you wore it like three. Yeah, so my chest Maybe hurts. Like five. It would burn my face. Does it filter? Who knows? That'll be interesting to see. But if it's not like, you know, a usable product, I don't, I don't think that really necessarily matters. I think there's a way to take this and make it into a usable product. I think if they wanted to in three years, this could be a good mask. Yeah, or if they, so if they took it and they ditched the, if they took this, <laughs> it really hurts. Um, if they took this and they ditched the like UV filtration system, so you weren't breathing through a straw essentially, right? And you were, and they expanded to fit a little more around the face. They made, they like really didn't skip on the silicone and made like a bigger, you know, seal the squish that you could actually perform facial functions with it. Um, then I think, and then, you know, they did maybe something like the, like, Project Hazel concept, and they used the razor mask, and they used, like, a, like, you know, the voice amplifier, but, like, and, you know, then I think you could have, like, a pretty good mask for, like, but you could literally just, like, put, like, cute patterns on these, market them to, like, you know, handy women. As, like, a cute breathing site, or your work respirator. site respirator. And I, I will, think that is like the one direction that you could take this product to be successful. I will say, I am going to take this mask and try spray painting in this and see how the smell is. And I could see myself, because I can get a little bit of a seal in this, I can see using this while I'm laser cutting. Mm. Um, because it's pretty stinky. Mm -hmm. um, and I like it not being stinky while I'm doing that. So I will actually check and see how it handles both of those situations and we'll provide an update in a couple weeks. I would like to be able to use this, but I don't think I can. Like having as I don't think you can either. Um, but I am curious with like, you know, laser cutting and spray painting are very light labor tasks and I don't necessarily care to have a perfect seal during both of those. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like probably safe to use for those. I'm just curious on how the smell is handled. Um, and you know, I don't want to be breathing in harmful chemicals with that, but also, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But in terms of all these filters mm -hmm. that we have, we'll show you just how many, I don't know what we're going to do with them. And we don't really need Charlotte's mask. Well, if you find this channel and you have one of these, you got one of these and it does work for you. Like you have like lungs of steel and you're like, I don't know what all these people are talking about. This is the best, ma best mask ever. Email us and we'll give you these. Also, I, mean, I don't think they're valuable to us at all, right? Like, no. we'll literally just gift you these. So, yes, so if you'd like these, mm -hmm. let us know. I find it really funny watching the like, Ethi presentation for Project Hazel because I was like, man, I like, kind of want that still because okay so I get sick everywhere I go like if I go on vacation or I go to a convention I get sick like every single time and so I think like something like that would be really useful to me I'm also hesitant because you know I, I of this whole situation but also that's like at least a company that I can find that's been making products for like over a decade and that you know is at least a real company Whereas there's no proof that this company ever existed before a couple months ago. You so, know. <laughs> did you order one of these? Do you feel like you got scammed? Let us know in the yeah. comments below. And like we said, if you would like a wonderful UV mask, mm -hmm. give us a call. I mean, if, if you have one of these, like, let, let us, us know. Like, did you find anything that we didn't find? Do you have any other thoughts? Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Mm -hmm. We release a video every Sunday. We try to. Charlotte does. I, <laughs> I hang out here sometimes. Yep. 
and I mean you participate it's great um, we're gonna go ahead and go take a bath in all these useless filters anyway see you later see you later keep rolling forward